Yeah, she's looking at everything. Hi guys, which side are you on? <laughs> Hi guys, so we are currently in the Great Smoky Mountains. So I took a travel nurse assignment in Oklahoma. So I was there for three weeks and then they came up for the, the remaining three weeks, so six weeks total. And now I'm done and we are going to slowly, we're already slowly making our way back to Florida. But he's gonna tell you all about the next video because I'm not even in it. Yeah, we're currently in the the uh, smoky, great smoky mountain <laughs> national park. Just like that. And we're on a quick trail. But um, so to generalize what we did on um, the bus is my father was in town, so shout out Pops again. He helped out a lot. We installed the solar struts, the racks on top of the bus to install the solar panels in the future. But mm -hmm. in order to finish the rest of our build, like the ceiling and everything, we need to get those done. Yep. And to put that tropical rubber sealant, everything on top of the bus, those needed to be done. So we installed it, this is how we did it. There's so many different ways to do it, but this is what was the best way for us. And uh, he actually helped us restructure a part of our bathroom. Yep. But being away from the bus for so long, we had a lot of time to think about our layout and there might be a small chance that we are changing some stuff around. <laughs> so stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy the video. going on guys so I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on how we mounted our solar racks um, I'm not telling you guys this is the best way to do it this is just how we did it there's so many different ways to go about doing this but for our application and how we are gonna mount our solar panels this is what we decided to do so we went with 10 foot galvanized unistrep um, this is a little piece we had to cut off for the emergency hatch so I just have it as a, a little prop uh, we did put a primer on it uh, kind of a rust preventative primer just in case and then I'm also gonna uh, spray it uh, spray paint it again with uh, some gloss white on top so I got these three inch galvanized bolts I'd recommend getting galvanized or steel you don't want to get zinc for the exterior it will rust um, so yeah this is gonna come so imagine the floor right here is our roof so we have this three inch galvanized bolt and imagine there's a washer as well i just don't have any handy um and it would go right through into the bus like this with your washer inside the channel to kind of help with the pressure and obviously this bolt won't it'll go right through there so get you a washer that will fit this width right here and then since our bus has a thin sheet metal roof um going it's on the whole roof on the sides and everything we didn't want the metal on metal contact with our roof so i went and got this rubber washer and we put that on top of the roof lined up our holes and then it went like this just like that and then on the inside it looks like this so our bolt comes to the roof we have another washer and then under our 
big washer, we have a lock washer. And then under the lock washer, we have a nylon nut. It's kind of hard to tell because we put a bunch of a uh, marine grade sealant on it. But yeah, so these are our main, they're running front to back. And then when it comes time to mount our solar panels, we will have a good base to mount on. So each rib got them all the way back. All right guys, so it is all bolted down. It is caulked, it is primed. Don't mind this, this is just how I'm walking across the roof. Um, so everything is caulked with decor lap sealant and a mix of the Loctite marine grade sealant. They both actually are made of the same product. I believe it's polyether. Don't, don't trust me on that. It's not polyetherane, but it's polyether. So I figured it can't hurt to use both of them. And plus we had them laying around. Um, so I did caulk all the way down the channel because each the Unistra has holes and I didn't want the water to be sitting in there if it rains and we're not gonna have a solar panels to protect that for a few months so in the meantime yes we did caulk all the way down and our bus is on a downhill slant so if i think correctly if water gets in here it will go downwards so i drilled before each glob of caulking on the bolts i drilled holes right before all the bolts so if there is enough water where it's puddling in there it hopefully will drain out and then go towards the front or go over here and run down and anytime you drill into steel metal whatever make sure you're putting a primer on it same thing we did when we drilled in the roof of our bus we hit it with some primer moisture and raw metal steel they don't go well together so now all you got to do is paint it and see what it looks like Thank you. 